Sky High, George Ferris's Big Wheel. George loved to watch the big water wheel go round and round. It scooped up river water for people and animals to drink. It watered fields, it ground corn into meal, and George loved the sound of the turning wheel. It was 1867. George Washington Gale Ferris Jr. lived on a ranch in Nevada. George rode horses, he did chores, and the water wheel turned. The water wheel on the Carson River turned through winter and spring, summer and fall. As the wheel turned, George grew taller and taller. George left home to go to school at age 14. When he graduated from college, he was ready to work as an engineer. He would design bridges and roads, canals and dams. George moved to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. He got his dream job. He was asked to design a bridge across the Allegheny River. George often brought his dog Sal along to watch the workers building his bridge. George married Margaret in 1886. He started his own business and men put up the sign GWG Ferris and Company. It's a humdinger, said George. Margaret agreed. Woof, barked Sal. She liked it too. It was 1892. A World's Fair was coming to Chicago in 1893. Engineers wanted to build something eye-catching, like Paris Eiffel's, Paris's Eiffel Tower. Margaret read about it in the papers. It's, there's a competition, she said. You must enter. Margaret packed George's bag, and he took a train to Chicago to meet with other engineers. Daniel Burnham was in charge of the fair's buildings. Everyone wanted to build a tower. We're not copying Paris, he said. George sat quietly in a corner, doodling on a napkin. Mr. Burnham looked at the doodle. People would ride on the wheel, said George. They would have a bird's eye view of the fair and of Lake Michigan. It won't work, said Mr. Burnham. What a crazy idea, shouted the others. Mr. Burnham rejected George's drawings three times. Winds will tear your wheel to pieces, he said. People will fall to the ground. Think up another idea. But time was running out and no one had a better idea. In December, Mr. Burnham agreed to let George build his wheel, but he would have to pay for it himself. It, and it had to be ready for opening day, May 1st, 1893. Could George do it? None of the banks in town would lend George money. They laughed him out the door. They had never heard of such a crazy idea. George's friends helped. They found rich men who were willing to give him the $400,000 he needed. Now the work could begin. When George wanted to call the ride the monster wheel, no one would let him. It was called the Ferris wheel. Digging began in January. It was one of the worst winters on record. Workers had to use dynamite to blast the frozen ground. Eight holes were dug to pour in concrete for the base. It had to hold the weight of two million pounds. George built train tracks so that a freight train could haul the wheels parts to the building site. The center, or axle, weighed 70 tons. A ton is about 2,000 pounds. How many would 70 tons be? Think about that. It was the largest piece of steel ever forged in America. The wheel was built one pie-shaped section at a time. The day came when the last piece was hoisted up. Would it fit? George hoped his math was correct. It was. The piece fit. The fair had already begun, but the wheel wasn't ready. 36 steel cards, cars still had to be put on, and each car would hold 60 passengers. On June 10th, the crew began to hang the cars. When the job was done, the wheel looked like the water wheel George had loved as a boy. 
On June 21st, a crowd gathered at the Ferris wheel. George made a speech. He blew his whistle. Tweet! It was time for the first ride. George, Margaret, and Sal got in a steel car. So did the mayor of Chicago. A 40-piece orchestra came along for the ride, and slowly the big wheel turned. The wheel went around and stopped at the top. They could see for miles. Margaret toasted George, and the orchestra, orchestra played America the Beautiful. Then slowly the wheel started again. George's wheel was 264 feet tall. Today, many Ferris wheels are much taller. The high roller in Las Vegas has more than twice, is more than twice as tall as George's big wheel. In 2015, New York City began to build the country's biggest wheel, designed to be nearly 630 feet tall. The view should be amazing, just as it was from George Ferris's first wheel.